Hey guys, this is Joe Snell. Libya's parliament approves a temporary new government. A former German employee was convicted of spying for Egypt. And secret French documents related to the Algerian War of Independence can now be declassified. Let's catch you up on these headlines from around the region. We begin in Libya, where a temporary government was approved by parliament on Wednesday. The new interim prime minister presented what is called the Government of National Unity to parliament for approval. This government is now charged with guiding the country to its general elections on December 24th. The approval of the unity government is the latest step in a UN-backed plan that hopes to resolve a decade of violence and instability in the country. Moving on to Egypt, where a former employee of the German government has been convicted of spying for Cairo. On Wednesday, 66-year-old Amon K received a suspended prison sentence of one year and nine months. Prosecutors said Amman passed information to Egypt's General Intelligence Service while working for the press office. Court documents also said he attempted to recruit another spy. Finally, in Algeria, French President Emmanuel Macron has eased the process of declassifying secret documents more than 50 years old. These include documents related to the Algerian War of Independence. The move by France is meant to promote reconciliation of France's colonial rule of Algeria. Now hang on before you go, here's a list of a few events coming up in the week ahead. On Monday, the Palestinian factions hold talks in Cairo to discuss the Palestinian National Council elections set for August 31st. Also on Monday, the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee holds a closed-door hearing on the policy and legal rationale of U.S. airstrikes in Syria. And on Tuesday, Turkey and Greece hold a new round of exploratory talks in Athens. And that's your media news for this week and some for next week. For more reading on the region, make sure to visit our website at www.al-monitor.com. Until next week, stay safe, everyone. I'm Joe Snell.